President Tsai Ing-wen has been working to heal rifts in the DPP following last month's divisive party primary in which she was challenged by former Premier Lai ching -te. It has emerged that just after the primary concluded, Tsai paid a low-profile visit to one of Lai's main supporters, hardline independence advocate Gu Quanming, who was undergoing surgery in the hospital at the time. It was reported that Gu was deeply moved, later telling his staff to assist with uniting the party behind Tsai. Lai Qingde, this young man should succeed her. Tsai Ing-wen can become the mother of Taiwan, the mother of the country. During the lead-up to the primary, Gu gave his full support to Lai. However, in mid-June, when the primary had just concluded, Gu suffered a blocked artery in his leg and was admitted into hospital for minor surgery. Tsai paid him a personal visit and the two resolved any hard feelings. Uh, President Tsai was at Mr Gu's side and the two were very close. As soon as she entered, she clasped Mr Gu's hand and paid her respects. The whole meeting took about 15 to 20 minutes. Mr and Mrs Gu were particularly touched. Even though their conversation did not touch on healing rifts in the wake of the primary, Gu later told his aides to give this their utmost assistance. After he has recovered, he is expected to be very active in coordinating with DPP Central Headquarters and coordinating with President Tsai's team. I think integrating different elements in the party is the most important part. After the primary, President Tsai took the initiative to show her goodwill to the independence fundamentalist faction and also resolved any hard feelings with Lai. Even before she soon sets off on an overseas trip to visit Caribbean allies, President Tsai will organise forums in various Taiwanese cities and counties and will integrate the opinions of city and county councillors. She hopes this will unite the party and will win national elections in January.